Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the Rise Up Radio segment, brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. We are delighted that you have decided to tune in. Today on the Rise Up Radio segment, we are going to be featuring real-life testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. So, if you know someone who is involved in substance abuse and is looking for a way out, we want to encourage you to call them up and tell them to tune in to the Rise Up Radio segment, coming at you now. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Rise Up Radio segment brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. And we're so excited that you have decided to tune in. Do me a favor. Can you get on your phone, call up a friend, tell them to tune in because they might just get born again. You know what I'm saying. And today I want to welcome Brother Strew and Sister Nathalie to the show. How are you guys feeling today? Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, listeners. We're feeling great. We're feeling excited. And God is on the throne Good stuff. Sister Nathalie, how are you feeling today? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so blessed to be here today. Good stuff. It's so great to have you guys on the show. Brother Struan, how was your life like before you came to know the Lord? Well, Pastor, I was a drug addict for many years of my life, you mm. know. I can't be very exact with the years because mm-hmm. I've been a functional drug addict mm. where I would work and I would use drugs and I would still function, mm. you know. But but it's been for it's been quite a long time, plus minus eleven years. Wow, that I've been on drugs. Mm. But at first, it started with being a functional drug addict where I would go into my job, I would do my thing, and I would still come home and use drugs mm-hmm. and still having a, a life of being married, you know. Mm. But uh, there was there come a t- there came a time where uh, things changed completely, things mm. spiraled out of control. Mm-hmm. I was not in control of my addiction. I wasn't in control with my life. You know, I was completely out of control. You know, I did things that I never did before. Mm. And that was all because I was using drugs. Wow. You know, so it ended off where, where I lost my job. Wow. You know, I, I I started losing relationship with my family, my mm. parents, you know. Mm. Mm. And I started losing, you know, people that trusted me, mm-hmm. you know. And, and, and from there, everything just went out of control. Wow. You know, and here, yeah, wow. here I am. Sister Nathalie, how did it affect you when Struan was using drugs? Um, to me, it, it affected me in a major way because um, I was very dependent on Struan. Mm. Um, and like he said, for a long time, he was a, a, a functional drug addict, which means that he it really didn't have an impact on his or a negative impact on his life too much at that stage. Mm. Um, but there came a time where he wasn't, like he said, he wasn't in control of his addiction anymore. He wasn't in control of his life. Mm. Um, and that is where everything just went down for us. Um, mm. Uh, we 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 were newly married and we ju- we had a daughter mm. and um, I felt hopeless wow. because he, it, the drug addiction left such a void in my life and wow. in in the life of my daughter. Wow. Um, not just not just a physical void, but the void that that um, that I felt when Sruan wasn't there, like the emotional support and even even just the financial support because all of that was just gone. Wow, wow, that's heavy. Okay, Struan, how did you come to know the Lord? Well, Pastor, it all all started off when I was in in the prison cell Uh out there in Goodwood Prison. And I was looking at myself and and I was looking at the rest of the guys within that prison cell. Mm. And I was asking myself, wow, is this really the life that I want to live? You know, is this really, you know, what I'm going to be doing? You know, Mm. and and the Lord just dropped it in my spirit and he said, son, this is not what I have for you. Mm. I don't have this plan for you. And right there, you know, things changed for me. Mm. And I started praying and the Lord, you know, opened opened the door for me to to get out of that prison mm. and from there right out of prison i joined up with victory outreach wow you know yeah how did you join up with victory outreach pastor there was a couple <laughs> of guys that that uh back in my days okay uh, i used to use drugs with i used to smoke with them you mm. know and we all grew up together in a, in a, in the area out there in Belo mm-hmm. and those were the guys you know that they were the worst of the worst we were the worst of the worst mm. but when i came to victory outreach now i didn't know they were there but i heard about victory outreach i came there uh-huh. and lo and behold there was a few brothers that i used wow. to smoke with that wow. was that set free wow that's heavy so you came to victory outreach not knowing the guys you used to use drugs with was going to the church that's right pastor wow so how did you hear about victory outreach 
Well, I heard about Victory Outreach on the radio. I also heard about them through flyers and uh-huh. rallies. Uh-huh. And and many people that I've met, you know, they, they speak well about Victory Outreach. So, wow. And then also a couple of people that, that I was involved with, they, they informed me a little bit of Victory Outreach. So, yeah, Victory Outreach was all over there. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. You come to the church and then you run into your friends that you used to run the streets with. Now you're all serving the Lord. That's, That's right, Pastor. Not just with the friends. And when I came into Victory Outreach, it wasn't just friends I used to smoke with. Uh-huh. But the guys that also came alongside of me was, was really good leaders and really good pastors. Wow. You know, and they came alongside me and I started sharing my life with them. You know, and, and here I am. Amen. Good stuff. All right. Well, keep it locked, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go into a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to hear more. You're tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment. Ladies and gentlemen, Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town invites you to join us for one of our Sunday morning. Morning services. We have three services, one at 8 a.m., one at 9.30 a.m., and our Afrikaans service is at 11.15 a.m. We are located at 123 Fort Trekker Road on the corner of Fort Trekker and McDonald in the Goodwood Mall. We would love to see you there. For more information, call our office, 061-407-9474. That's 061-407-9474. www.bocapetown.org. Attention all young people God's anointed now generation of Victory Outreach Cape Town Would like to invite you to our youth night It takes place every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. We have powerful preaching, skits, testimonies, fun And a place to meet new people We are located at 123 Fort Trucker Road On the corner of Fort Trucker and McDonald In the Goodwood Mall For more information, give us a call 061-407-9474 That's 061-407-9474 Or visit our website www.capetowngang.org What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Rise Up Radio segment brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. Okay, Strew and Sister Nathalie, we heard how your life was before you got saved, how you got saved, but I want to know how is God using your life and what is God doing in your life today? Pastor, you know, it's just a privilege, you know, and a, mm. and a blessing to, to be part of what God is doing within our mm. communities, mm. you know, but we as a, as a couple, as a married couple, we mm. really have a heart, you know, for more families, we have a heart for couples and married people, you know, and not just married men and women, but also young men and women, mm. you know, and, and, there is, and there is the direction that God is leading us to, wow. you know, to be influential in other people's lives, to let more people know that Jesus loves them and that He has a plan for their lives. Good stuff, good stuff. Sister Nathalie, how is God using your life today? Um, well, coming into the ministry, um, I followed through and there because mm-hmm. he went there first. Mm-hmm. And for a while I didn't go. And um, then I started to go because I could see the change that, that was happening in Sruan's life. And I thought, look, at first I thought, okay, this is just another mm-hmm. uh, 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 another. Um, Phase. Um, another phase yeah, or another yeah. thing, uh-huh. um, but then I actually saw that it was that it was real. The power of God was actually evident in his life, and wow. I grew up um, in a house where my mother and my father served the Lord. But that was wow. it was never. I was a very rebellious child mm, in that mm, sense. Mm, mm, mm. But um, when I went with Sru and to Victory Outreach, I was immediately drawn to the worship that mm, was happening mm. at the church. It was a it was very dynamic worship, mm-hmm. and um, I always had a love for singing, and I always. I always saw, even though I wasn't active in the church, I always saw myself in that type of position. If I should have, if I should be active mm, in the church, mm, mm. and um, that is where God is currently um, using me right now. That is wow. where I find myself. So I'm currently a part of the worship team. Okay. At Victory Outreach Good, Goodwood, one, two, three, four, three, cut out. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I'm also supporting my husband with his ministry, which is Life Groups. Okay. And we've got a Life Group in Belha. And wow. the, the address for the Life Group is 12 Volge Gesang um, Belha, okay. South Help. Good stuff. Good stuff. And Good we stuff. get together every, every, every Tuesday on, at 7 o'clock. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's where we're currently finding ourselves. Good stuff. Struan, tell me a little bit more about that life group. Well, Pastor, we are in the life group ministry. We oversee a couple of life groups within uh-huh. the area of Cape Town, you know, Reitewag, Elsie's River, mm-hmm. Belha, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah, we it's a small group setting. Okay. Where, where, um, like a Bible study. It's like a Bible study okay. Okay. where we come together and, and we have like more one-on-one kind of encounters with one another. We're able to share a little bit more mm. in depth, mm. you know, with our background, mm-hmm. you know. And it's it's been, it's a really good platform, you know, for males and females mm-hmm. to come in come in and, and get a hold of God and also just to, to experience, you know, you know, more testimonies and the power of God that's moving in a setting like that. 
Well, you know, that's powerful. I'm, I'm sitting here listening to your testimony, how God has touched your life. You know, you were involved in drug addiction, found yourself in prison. Uh, your marriage was filling it. God came into your life. And now you're a couple leading a life group that's ministering the word of God. Your wife is involved in the worship team. That's powerful. That That's powerful. That's the power of God right there, Pastor, you know, and God has been so faithful and He's restored so much within our lives, on, you know. Not only do we have a, a nine year old daughter, but, mm. you know, when God restored our lives and God restored, you know, everything within our lives, mm. you know, God made it possible for us to, to have another son, mm. you know, and He's running around, He's three years old, mm. He's running around in Victory Outreach Cape Town, <laughs> you know, and, and he's, he's, he's quite, you know, He's a good, good boy, and, and we're just grateful for God for his restoration power wow you know if you're out there listening and maybe you're a wife right now and your husband is involved in drug addiction there is hope or maybe you yourself you're listening to this show and you find yourself where you feel hopeless you maybe you're switching through the channel and you turn on to the station and you're hearing this program it's no coincidence God has a plan and a purpose for your life and there's living testimonies right here on this radio show that God is able to set you free so you know what if you need Jesus in your life all it takes is a prayer to invite him to come into your heart and what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into a commercial break right and when we come back we're going to minister to some lives Struan, and I want you to just take some time to encourage someone from your heart and then we're going to lead them in a word of prayer. Can we do that when we come back? I'm in agreement, Pastor. Okay, good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, keep it locked. You are tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. Ladies and gentlemen, Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town invites you to join us for one of our Sunday morning services. We have three services, one at 8 a.m., one at 9.30 a.m., and our Afrikaan service is at 11.15 a.m. We are located at 123 Fort Trekker Road on the corner of Fort Trekker and McDonald in the Goodwood Mall. We would love to see you there. For more information, call our office, 061-407-9474. That's 061-407-9474. www.bocapetown.com all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the rise up radio segment brought to you by victory outreach church of cape town okay brother strew and sister natalie uh sister natalie maybe there's a, a wife out there listening and she finds herself in the shoes that you were in what would be your word of encouragement to her don't give up mm. don't give up and mm. even even if you if you even if you have it, haven't had that experience with Jesus and you don't know Jesus mm. start get on your knees and pray pray for your husband pray mm. for your family pray for the restoration power of Jesus to come upon you and to come upon your marriage wow good stuff brother Struan maybe there's a young man out there he wants to change he finds himself or he feels like there's no hope what would be your word of encouragement to him my encouragement this afternoon is don't give up mm. you know you know they you know it's such a it's such a good thing to serve the lord and he has mm. so much more for us mm. you know all we need to do is to surrender ourselves so wow. so i know there's a young man out there maybe oh, you're feeling that there's no breakthrough but i want to let you know right after that struggle is your breakthrough mm. i want to let you know right after that inclined hill right after that hill your breakthrough is right behind that hill my brother i want to let you know that jesus loves you and he has a plan and a purpose for your life Wow, good stuff. Okay, Sister Nathalie, I'm going to ask you to say a prayer for maybe a wife that's out there listening. And then, Struan, when she's done, you could pray for someone that may be listening that are in the shoes you were in. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. we come before you, Lord. We thank yes, you, oh God, Lord. for your presence, Lord, and we yes. thank you, Lord, for your hand upon our lives, my God. I pray, Lord, for that for that wife, oh God, that's yes. out there, my, my God, that's struggling, Lord Jesus, that's yes. struggling to find her strength, oh God. I pray that you will give her the strength that she needs, my Father God, in the name of Jesus, to yes. carry on and to stay on her knees and to pray for her husband, thank to pray you, for her family in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that you will touch her and I'll touch her husband, touch their family, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Amen. Name. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this evening, oh God. Lord, we love you this evening. And Father, we thank you for your provision of our lives, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for who you are, Lord. Father, this evening I lift up, my God, every brother oh, before your throne, oh God. And I pray right now, my God, Lord, that you will touch him, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. You can feel the presence of the Lord in this, in this show. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you for having us, Pastor. God bless. It was our pleasure. Thank you for having us. All right. Don't forget, tune in next week on the Rise Up Radio segment.
If you or someone you know is involved in substance abuse and is looking for a way out, please contact our free recovery home at 021-691-9575. That's 021-691-9575. Or you can visit our website at www.vocapetown.org. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Rise Up Radio segment.